Hello. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Wendy. How are you tonight? Mm, I am. I am fine. I. I taking. I taking my dinner. No. I'm having I dinner. Take. I'm having <laughs> dinner. Have. Have. I yes. having dinner. Um. Having dinner. Okay. What? The subject, the verb to be. Then I need a verb I, with um, I I N G, right? Have having. I'm, I'm having, having dinner. I'm, I'm having dinner. I'm having dinner. I'm having dinner. Okay, negative. I'm not having. I'm dinner. not having having dinner at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I am I having dinner at the moment? Okay, and that's the um, present continuous. Present continuous. I or I'm progressive. Having... Oh, but... continuous In... or progressive. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. In fact, no, no, no. Let's keep let's keep it that way. Present continuous. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let me see. Okay. C. Okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Wendy. Let's continue with present continuous. Present progressive. So you have Hello. C and landscape. Give me a sentence. Give me the sentences. I'm sorry. Positive, negative question. Good evening. Hey, Jorge. Hello. No. Uh, I'm no. Change the subject. Um, Change I'm the having... subject. Uh, okay. Um... Uh, and he sheet. No, I mean. Okay. Amelia, Amelia, has. Where is the the following? What 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 follows after the subject? I need. I confuse. Uh, have or have? Having. No, no, you don't need to say have anymore. Having. Now you have see. Which is your main verb and no, landscape. Mm -hmm. So, Amelia C is, uh huh. Amelia is, is C. Very good. Uh huh. The, the landscape. The landscape. Landscape. The Very landscape. good. Give me the negative. Amelia is not Amelia is not seeing mm -hmm. the landscape. 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 Mm -hmm. Amelia isn't seeing the landscape. Question. Land or land landscape. Landscape. Al okay. Mm -hmm. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, go ahead. What's the question? Is, is Amelia is Amelia seeing the landscape? That's it.
What's the middle land doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's seeing the landscape? And so many WH questions that you can come up with in any given topic. Okay, let's see if Jorge remembers this grammar tense. Which one? Present continuous. Mm, I'm bad with the tense. Uh, come on, don't say you're bad. I, say the opposite. I'm good. I'm good with tenses. I'm good with tenses. Easy. Okay, go ahead. I, I guess in. Mm hmm. Gazing. Uh, when, when is raining? I'm gazing. When is raining? Eh. Or not? Just to keep the structure. Yeah, I'm gazing the rain. I'm gazing, I'm gazing at the rain. The rain. Uh, no, maybe I'm, I'm gazing walk under the rain. Mm, okay, look at the meaning of gaze. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's like seeing. It's like seeing carefully. I'm seeing, gazing. seeing. I'm gazing the rain. Seeing thoughtfully. Seeing thoughtfully. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gazing the rain outside my window. Okay, go negative. Uh, I'm not gazing the rain outside my window. As easy as that. What's the question? Uh, am I? Gaze in the rain outside of my window. As simple as that. You need a subject, the verb to be, ing on each verb, you know, and this is called the present participle. Is the same present continuous? Is the same present continuous, present progressive. And this form of the verb, the ing form, is the present participle. Then you have the past participle. Mm -hmm. Just don't forget that. Okay. But there are uh, a key to remember the structure. There is a key. Oh, are you are you asking me? Yes. Is there a key? Is there a key to to identify the if to, the, to identify. identify if your if your structure is correct. Is there a key? Is there a way to is there a way to identify? Identify if you're doing it right. Yes, follow the structure. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's, just follow the structure. That's all. Then you have to be then a verb. In ing form and the complement, then you have the subject plus to be. Y esa es una clave. Siempre el auxiliar le decía va a llevar el negativo. So, okay, subject plus to be not. And again, the verb with ing and the complement. For a question, you need to be. Hey, good evening. 
into B plus the subject plus the verb in ING form and the complement and of course the question mark. So am I talking the truth? Am I saying the truth? That's it. But uh, it's necessary you- Is it? You... Okay, uh, let's, let's, say what, let's see what you're saying. Is, is it is it necessary to mm -hmm. to to learn each of the structure? As I have been telling you, y lo voy a decir en español porque necesito que todos entiendan esto. Si ustedes practican lo que estamos haciendo ahorita todos los días con un tiempo gramatical diferente todos los días, cinco verbos, cinco palabras. O sea, cambia el sujeto, cambia el verbo, cambia la palabra. Y vas practicando en un cuadernito aparte todos los días. Cinco verbos, cinco palabras. Positivo o negativo pregunta. Es decir, vas a tener un total de 15 oraciones positivas, 15 negativas y 15 preguntas. Y yo te sugiero que hagas positivo o negativo pregunta del mismo verbo y la misma palabra. Luego otra vez otro verbo, otra palabra. Positivo o negativo pregunta. Eso, todos los días se te va a ir quedando, uno, la estructura en contexto, porque así funciona el cerebro, y dos, eh, vas a ir memorizando por lo menos dos verbos y dos palabras a diario, que ya es un gran progreso, ¿verdad? Ahora, si tú te aplicas, por supuesto, y, y andar todo el día repitiendo, ¿sí? Revisando ese cuaderno, en cada oportunidad que tienes, revisas el cuadro. Eso hice yo desde los siete años. Simplemente me repetía las oraciones, las estructuras. Agarraba una oración positiva o negativa, pregunta todos los días, todos los días, todos los días. Cuando vine a darme cuenta, pues ya estaba, ya sabía hablar y no sabía que podía hablar. Fue a la fuerza que trabajando para Ilatza en una empresa de la familia, eh, de, bueno, prácticamente, este, um, me obligaron a hablar con un hindú, a pesar de que los dueños de la empresa habían estudiado en la americana y todo, a mí me metieron que hablar con un hindú para traer un, un contenedor de llantas, y ya cuando pusimos la compra, que eran 46 mil dólares, no se me olvida, me dijo mi jefe, ¿verdad? Tony, si se llega a perder eso, vos me lo vas a pagar. Yo soy, ok. <ríe> ahí, ahí estaba yo llamando a Merciland. Un día sí, un día no. Un día sí, un día no. Um, total que... De, de, yeah, de, in fact, this guy from India came to El Salvador, you know. We were trying to become dealers. We were trying to become dealers of their triangle, triangle tires in El Salvador. And it was a nice experience. That was the first time I, I truly, I truly um, applied English. This was back in 2004. And in 2005, on February 15th, February 15th, 2005, I started, I started working at, at a call center. Go ahead. Go ahead. But before you you spoke with the Indian people, you were studying English in some... No. No, I, I actually learned with a dictionary and then I started practicing during my vacations, talking to Americans uh, when I worked as a waiter at a restaurant. I worked as a waiter in a famous restaurant. And then I moved to San Salvador in 1998. 1998, I came to San Salvador, November 14th, 1998. I moved with my uncle, rest in peace. And I started working at Multicinema Reforma in 2000, in 2000, in 2000. While I was studying uh, my bachelor degree, I, I was working at the same time uh, at the cinema. So I was studying and working and studying and working. And there, there I met a lot of Americans, Europeans. So then that's key. This is important. If you know someone who speaks English, 
try it. Try it. You say hello. Break the ice. Break the ice. That's all. You know, some, well, most Americans, and this is my experience, most Americans, they like to speak English to another person who is learning. So, a mí me decía una señora, y aquí la tengo grabada, una viejita que llegó al cine, eh, súper rápido. Um, yo estaba en la caja cobrando en la dulcería y, y, le, y, y preguntó, okay, does anybody speak English here? And I was like, uh, I kind of speak English. Oh, great. Okay, I need a big popcorn. I need... Um, some nachos, I need three hot dogs, and that's it. Y ahí fue donde pregunté yo, ¿one soda? What's wrong? I said, ¿one soda? And she she got red, she, she got upset. No, 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 no. No, one soda. Do, do you one soda? Do you one soda? I was like, oh, the auxiliary. Yes, she said. And she she asked my boss, ¿Puedo, ¿puedo llevarme, muchacho? Afuera? ¿Quince minutos? ¿Sí, sí, ¿Poder? Y mi jefa le dijo, ¿qué, qué dice? Que si sí, puedo ir con ella afuera 15 minutos. Bueno, el cliente lo que quiera, dijo mi jefa. <ríe> Fui con la señora afuera al parqueo del, del cinema, del Cinema Reforma, y nos estuvimos ahí media hora. Y me enseñó a usar los auxiliares. I never forget that. And I thank her, you know. She was, wow. You're, she said, you're smart, but don't forget the auxiliaries, the auxiliaries. And that's, that's all. And then I started making questions, right? What about the WH questions? And then uh, she was very kind. I don't remember her name. I never asked her name. I never asked her name. <laughs> that was funny. And that's the way, Jorge. You want to learn? Talk to somebody. Get a friend. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So we are 10. Awesome. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Me encienden las cámaras, por favor. Present. Todititos. Cámaras encendidas, por favor. Thank Present. you, Carlos. <laughs> Present. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Natia Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Here, teacher. Good evening, thank you. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Good. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Thank you. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas Joel. Present, teacher. Excellent. Manuel Antonio Palma. Oh, he said he was going to join us at eight. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Nelson. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel y Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys. So if you noticed to start the class, we were talking about present continuous. Okay. So let's play a game. Let's play a game really quick. Tell me one thing that you're doing right now. Just one thing that you are doing right now. For example, I'm talking. You cannot repeat. No se puede repetir. You cannot repeat what someone else said, okay? So I'm talking. I'm talking um, to the customer. Wait, wait, wait. Susana? Then you go, Jorge. Okay, um, teacher. Susana, uh huh. Yes. <laughs> okay. One sentence. What are you doing right now? I I am uh, working. 
I'm working. That's it, Jorge. I'm checking my WhatsApp. I'm checking my WhatsApp, Silvia Suleima. Voy en orden, eh. Buxos, buxos. Silvia, come on. Wendy. Okay, so we have so far, I'm working, I'm talking, I'm checking my WhatsApp. Wendy? I'm, I'm, I'm swearing, I'm swearing my email. I'm answering my emails. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm answering my emails. Okay, answering good. Emails. You got it, Carlos Alfredo. Um, I'm thinking what to say. You got it. I'm thinking, thinking what to say. Thinking what to say. Les decía al principio del primer día de clases, exageren, ahorita la articulación es lo principal. Entonces, si es una TH, empieza con una TH la palabra, sacas la lengua, es una Z. I'm thinking what to say. Thinking. 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 You got it. Diana? Elizabeth? I'm listening to music. I'm listening to music. That's all. Great. Silvia Zuleima. Okay, Norma Carolina. I'm going to my house. I'm going to my house. Everybody, is that present continuous? Yes. I'm going to my house. I just want, okay, everybody, you got it? That's present continuous, right? Be careful. I'm going to go to my house. Future, I'm going to my house. Great job, Norma. Silvia Suleima. Hello, me, teacher. Um, okay, give me an example. What are you doing right now? Uh, what? Uh, please repeat. Okay, so far we have, Susana said, I'm working. I said, I'm talking. Jorge said, I'm checking my WhatsApp. Wendy Maribel said, I'm answering my emails. Carlos Alfredo said, I'm thinking what to say. And Diana Elizabeth said, oh my God, I forgot. She said, um, I'm, listening to I'm listening to music. Norma said, I'm going to my house. Give me a sentence. What are you doing? Uh, I am I am checking the notebook of my daughter. You got it. I'm checking the notebook of my daughter. I'm checking my daughter's notebook. I'm checking my daughter's notebook. Sounds better. Guys, keep an eye on this. I'm 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 checking my daughter's notebook. Notebook. Okay. Diego. I'm cooking my dinner. Oh, really? Okay. I'm cooking my dinner. Juan Carlos. I wash my clothes, teacher. I'm washing my clothes. <laughs> so sad. Okay. I'm washing my clothes. Mario Villeda. Hello. Yes, teacher. What are you doing right now? Actually, dinner. <laughs> dinner. Nothing. Nope. Thank you. E eating my dinner. Okay, I'm eating my dinner. Good job. That's it. Okay, now mind this: when you talk about meal times. Okay, meal times. Please always say have plus the meal time. For example, I have breakfast. Okay, I have breakfast at, or in this example, I'm having dinner. I'm having dinner. Be careful 
Don't say I'm having the dinner. Why? Why you cannot say I'm having the dinner? The dinner or what or who? <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, why you shouldn't say I'm having the dinner? No? Okay, remember the or the means that the other person knows. Significa que la otra persona sabe que es la cena. Una cena importante, una cena de gala, una cena de reunión. Si yo le digo a Jorge, hey, I'm having the dinner. I'm having the dinner. Oh, really? The Christmas party? It's to emphasize. It's in context. Diana, Diana, do you remember the guy? The guy that we talked about? Do you remember the guy? That's the guy. He's there. That's the guy, Diana. It's already in context. I talked to Diana about this guy yesterday. So now we, saw, we see him. De nuevo. Está en contexto de la, de la conversación. Diana sabe que ayer le hablé de un bicho y ahora lo vimos y le digo, hey, ese es el bicho. Ah, really? Yeah. That's it. Got it? So, the dinner. Mm, la cena. You, you have to be more specific. I have the dinner with my family. Y todavía sigue siendo... No, muy tiene que ser más específico estoy teniendo la cena con mi familia decir una cena especial ok what about uh, using taking I'm taking the dinner it's, I'm it's taking. not it's not appropriate because you're saying that you're taking your dinner to your room I'm taking my dinner to my room I'm taking my dinner to the living room I want to watch TV. You can use in that case carry. No. No, because carrying, picture carrying as something heavy. Delivery. As if you're carrying something. Estás cargando. Mm -hmm. It's different. Taking, tomar, llevar. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, good job, good job. It's like someone said once to me, teacher, may I take water may i take water teacher i was like tomar agua so i was like may i drink water you drink water you don't take water <laughs> the same meaning is the same meaning in spanish take and, and drink okay good let's see so tonight we have to move on with the millennial talk we have stereotypes about millennials. We kind of talked about it yesterday. We are 10 now. Uh, we have a good activity. You're going to prepare an exposition. Uh, not an exposition, a role play. A role play based on topics, on topics that I found on, um, on an excerpt on a website, different stereotypes. So, for example, one of the main stereotypes is that millennials are lazy, right? They say we're lazy. And we don't want to work. We don't want to do anything. We want easy money. They deserve everything. <laughs> and we think that we deserve everything. We are self-entitled, self-entitled. We deserve everything in the world because we are the best. Okay, something else is that we have different career goals. It's very concerning. I was telling my wife one of these days, man, when you and I, when you and I were kids, we used to admire people. Who who did you used to admire, Jorge, when you were a kid? MJ, Michael Jordan. Give me just a minute. I think there was an accident. Give me just a minute. Sorry.
I'm really sorry. Why not? My kids, well, my daughter is a drama queen. Uh, she was being scolded and she started yelling and oh my God. So, sorry. MJ, I thought you were going to say Michael Jackson, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Yes. I had the opportunity to watch in in the in the TV. Obviously. On, on the TV. On, on the, the TV. TV. Really? Yeah, me too. I used to watch all the it was nine years, did you know? Did you watch the documentary on Netflix? Uh, yes, uh, The Last Dance. Yeah, it was really good. Awesome. Awesome documentary. That was really nice. Phil Jackson, Scotty Pippen. I cried when Pippen, Pippen passed away. That was so shocking, you know. So, such a Pippen sudden... Passed away. Huh? Pippen passed away. Yeah, when Pippen passed away. I'm sorry, yeah. uh, no, Brian, Kobe uh, Bryant. Kobe Bryant, yes. Yeah, when Kobe Bryant passed away, they were. Three years ago, I remember. So sad. Yeah, okay, so we used to admire Michael Jordan. What else? Susanna, who did you admire? This is interesting, the girls, the girls. Sure. Repeat, please. Who did you admire when you were a kid? Who? Who did you admire? For example, Jorge used to admire Michael Jordan. Ah. Yeah. I don't like it. No, I don't. but who did you, as a kid, who did you admire? Ah. Eh, Karim Abdul. What? Really? Karim Abdul Jabbar? <laughs> the liker. <laughs> from the La Lakers, was it Lakers or Lakers? Yeah, he was in Lakers, right? Lakers had good team players. That's true. Okay, let's see. Carlos Alfredo, who was your superstar? Who did you used to admire? I used to admire uh, Ronaldo uh, from the Brazil. The team Brazil, Ronaldo, the 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 Bonnie. The Bonnie, yeah, the original, oh, the yeah. the main player. He, that yeah. guy, that white, that guy was a uh, an alien. He's an alien with the football, yes. with the ball. It, I mean, wow, even better than Messi, I will say. I will dare okay. to say. I will dare to say. Phenom or it's a phenomenon. Phenom, phenomenon, phenomenon. Phenomenon. It's a phenomenon. Yeah, definitely, Wendy. Who did you used to admire when you were a kid? I don't understand the question, teacher. ¿A quién, Sorry. ¿A quién solías admirar de niño? De niña. Niña. <laughs> Era un jugador que ya, yo creo que ya hasta desapareció, pero hizo write a book. He wrote, he wrote a book? Kaká? Yes. Kaká. Was, was he from Brazil, guys? I don't remember Kaká. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he was Brazilian, right? He was Brazilian. I, I'm interested. I'm interested about the ladies. Uh huh. Was a football player? Was a football player in writing? Is a Christian. In... Oh, he was Christian. And give, no, give, gave, gave, gave uh, money for foundation. For a foundation. Oh, for I didn't foundation. know that. I didn't yeah. know that. I'm interested in ladies. Let. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Sylvia, one last last question. Who did you used to admire, Sylvia, when you were a, a little lady? Excuse me. Who did? A quien solía admirar? Who did you used to admire when you were a kid? Nothing. Nobody. Okay. Well, some of us used to admire many people, right? As kids, our father, our mother, Shusha. Shusha. 
Um, I don't know. Ulises 31. Right? <laughs> we used to have superheroes. We used to have um like but the, the here's the point. There was always a, a role model. There was always a role model. I used to admire my uncle because he was the only one in the family who who had a title who went to the university he was the only one in the family who had like five different titles you know he was very smart and so i used to admire him and i didn't know i didn't know until he passed away i realized that he was my superhero he was like wow this guy is amazing you know but the point is nowadays the kids what are their role models? What are their role models? YouTubers? If you ask one of these kids nowadays, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? I didn't know what I wanted to be when I was a kid. I wanted to travel. You know what I wanted? I they wanted, wanted, I wanted... wanted to be like Bad Bunny, maybe. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, and right now culture, the culture is totally lost. Totally lost. Because they don't have good role models. And if they have, it's becoming a trend, you know, on social media. Um, for example, following uh the president. The president has become a good role model for many kids. Many kids actually tell you, oh, you know what? He's, he sounds, he looks like a nice guy. I don't know. Um, someone right, who, right, right now, now. Messi could be a good quote. Messi is true. Messi, even the competence. What's his competence? Yeah. Cristiano, Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't know. What else? But, oh, uh, Zeta, the YouTuber. What what's the name of this other guy very famous on YouTube? Um Pablito. No, no, no. Luisito Comunica? Oh, Luisito. Yeah. Yeah, but there's there's another Aron. Aron player. Aron, Aron, I can remember. What, what about the influencer? There are more modern? What about Mr. Beast? Have you seen? Have you watched any video from Mr. Beast? No. No, that's that's like the superhero for kids right now because um, this guy gives money. He just gives $10,000. Hey, you know what? I bought all these cars. I bought five cards and I'm selling them in $1. So if somebody comes and asks for the car and they ask for the price, I'll sell it for a dollar. <laughs> it's true. I, I mean... That's the way he became famous. But the point is, going back to the point, kids admire what they see. We used to admire what we used to see. There was no internet. We used to admire people from TV. Okay. You remember Pedro El Escamoso? <laughs> I have a friend. I have a friend who went to Fin de Semana and he acted like Pedro El Escamoso. I mean... We were crazy about, oh, oh, becoming famous. As a kid, I remember I, I played in the band. I played uh, in a band. I was the singer in in high school in, in the institute. And, and I wanted to be a singer. That's for sure. So because I used to listen to Prava de Sonido and all the national bands, you know. And so I didn't make it. Some friends made it. Um, some friends of mine made a group called uh, Red. You know Red? <laughs> yeah, two of them, two brothers. They they made it, actually. They're from Santa Ana, and they're still playing. So that's that's a stereotype. How kids are, what are they kid, Are they following? What are they following? What do they want to be? So that's your task right now. We're going to prepare 
a role play. So how many are we? We are 12 now. So I'm just going to do four groups. Okay. And there are a total of seven. So you know what? We're going to do three groups, uh -huh, three groups of four. And we're going to prepare two role plays. I want you to come up with a role play, but there are five specific topics on this excerpt on the internet. Let me share it with you. So to prepare this role plays, you have to base you have to base your role play on each one. For example, the first group will do a role play about millennials being lazy and millennials are technology obsessed. So the first group it will be easy. That will be easy for the first group. Okay? Think about the job environment. You are at your job and you're lazy. You're at during a meeting with your cell phone. Oh my God. That's not okay, right? Number group number two will do three and four. Millennials are more socially responsible, and millennials are job hoppers, three and four. And the third group will do millennials have a sense of entitlement. Millennials are price hungry. <laughs> this is good. It's, I, espero que lo hagan bien. Apeguense a lo que dice ahí para hacer su role play. Quiero decirlo en español para que quede claro. Vamos a hacer dos. ¿Qué? Role plays, right? You know what is a role play, right? Yeah. Van a actuar, eh? Aplicando esos dos temas por grupo. So let me create the three groups. It's going to be four on each group. Okay, so let me take a screenshot. Let me analyze. Uh, teacher, uh... Okay. Vamos a hacer como un diálogo o algo así. Exacto. Es un diálogo entre dos o tres o cuatro personas. Aplicando, por ejemplo, el grupo uno, tengo a Carlos, Diana, Mario José y Silvia. Entonces, del link que les envié, el tema uno y dos son Millennials are lazy, primer estereotipo. Number two, millennials are technology of obsessed. Fácil. Esto está súper fácil. Les tiene que quedar súper bien eso. Eh? Exageren, dramaticen. Ok. Ahí se salió alguien. Ok. Bueno. I'm not, I'm not following, teacher. Uh, where is the, the link? The link is on WhatsApp. Let me send it here through Zoom. As well. Ok. So, y ahí está el listado del 1 al 6. Del 1 al 6. Ok. Entonces, grupo 1, repito, y ya voy a enviar una, una captura porque necesito estar seguro que todos van a colaborar. Lamentablemente se salió Silvia. Bueno, grupo 1, Carlos, Diana, Mario, José Valle y Silvia que se desconectó. Grupo número 2, Jorge Vela, Diego, Manuel y Susana. Y el grupo número 3. Juan Carlos, Mario Villeda y Wendy. Estamos bien. So, I'm going to take a screenshot of the names and right now. It's going to tell you. So, tan fácil como esto. Grupo número uno. Topics uno. Y dos. Grupo número dos. Topics three and four. En grupo número tres. Topics four and, I'm sorry, five and six. Questions? Create a role play. Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. Can you add another person in group one because we have a listener? Sure. One listener. Sí, el yes. que 
si alguien se acaba de agregar, lo voy a agregar al grupo 1, de hecho, y... ¿Sí? Eso es todo. Eh, una cosa aclarando, ¿eh? Listener es una clasificación que se le da a alguien que no logró inscribirse a tiempo al curso y es como lo que tanto pregunta Jorge, no se le va a dar un diploma de INSAFORP al final del módulo, sino que la academia le dará su diploma y igual puede moverse al siguiente nivel, siendo de los primeros en la lista para inscribirse si ha atendido al 80% de las clases. ¿Ya? Solo quería aclarar eso. No es que algo por voluntad propia tú te pongas como listener porque solo vas a estar escuchando. Mm, ok, solo aclarar eso. Ok, let's go. If someone else comes, I will just add it to another group. Let's go. Mario, if you can hear me, please join your group. Why is millennials are lazy? Millennials are often type, typecast as so laid back that they are pos positively lazy with a poor work ethic. Fat or fiction? Well, Almost every generation faces the same criticisms from their elders or being lazy in their youth. The truth is that millennials are not lazy as such. They just have different ways of working. If you think, think of the poor place as being the traditional night to why this bound experience where the boss dictates what happens, then yes, you probably, you probably are at odds with millennia. For this generation, the workplace is about accomplishing a task or a goal. They show greater flexibility in how they approach work and tend not to be shackled by rigid processes and inflexible ways of doing things. Far more teach savvy than any previous generations, millennials are often creative and solution driven. So for employers, the trick here is to play to the strengths of millennials. Try to avoid micromanaging then and instead allow, allow them the freedom to be critical thinkers and problem solvers. Creativity and being, and being able to take the initiative are far more positive ways to look at millennial as a cohort and will help you to ensure you get the best out of them. Peter, sorry, I had one question. I hope. Mm -hmm. um, we need to role play the stereotype, I mean, the, the thing or the belief that the people have mm -hmm. that the millennials are lazy, or we have to create what here say. You have to, well, it's exactly what you're doing. You're reading the, the topic and then come up with a uh, role play based on that topic. For example, the role play could be at work, right? Um, you go, Diana, you go with Carlos, right? Okay, so we have this virtual meeting, meeting because uh, we have some complaints from clients and you guys are not doing your job and Carlos goes like. Okay, so we, 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 we should what people think know what really are 
Exactly. Okay. Just represent the topic on your role play. Okay. So one of you will be a lazy millennial. And on the second role play, one of you will be um will be using the cell phone when it's not appropriate, for example. And we can fusion the two topics. Uh, yeah. One. Yeah, actually, yeah. Let's do that if you want. It's okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, Carlos, if you want, uh, I'm going to read the second. Okay, I I read the the first first topic. The the both both of them. Okay. But it's 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 hard teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to acting with two po two topics that you don't understand. <laughs> mm, I think uh, is is uh, for me George is hard but but um it's not possible a little funny <laughs> yes that is the idea mm -hmm. so I miss re to read the, the 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 second topic millennials are Joe Hoppers okay how much time we have, teacher? Um, actually scanning each group to see how they move on. Now, the main idea is for you to role play something. So the first topic, um, one of you could be interviewing a millennial, right? And this millennial will go like, okay, but do you support Greenpeace? Do you support um, UNICEF? Because yeah. I, I want to work in a company that the supports climate change. climate change. Good, good, good. Climate change. So climate? I, climate change, good, climate. climate change. I see that you, you manufacture tires. Are you disposing properly all the residue? You know, uh, no. Okay, never mind. I, I don't want to work here. It's not okay. You're you're killing the planet. You know, and exaggerate a little bit. Do you, do you do you consider that is true? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Really, it is true. I mean, many millennials act that way. I do. I do care about it. Actually, I support many um, strategies from the company. For example, releasing turtles, turtles in San Diego. You know, my wife likes turtle eggs. I hate people who eat turtle eggs. That's not okay. It's not okay. And and so on. I, I went to uh, Un Techo Para Mi Familia. Mm -hmm. Un Techo Para Mi País. I, yes, I, was, I, I was a volunteer. It's an amazing experience, you know, with a company, with a call center. We went and built a house in one day with a lot of people, you know, building the house. It was really nice. It was really nice. So, how to build? No? How to build? How to build. Yes. 
The house or, or the wood material? No, 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 just the roof. It was just the roof, the windows, painting. Yes, yes. The Part walls, the, the walls were ready. The walls were ready. We installed the electricity, put the roof, and we painted. That's it. That's okay. really good. Okay. So you got the idea. The second one, millennials are job hoppers. Hmm. They switch job. Every, oh yes. Every, it's not hoppers. It's hoppers. Job hoppers. hoppers. You know. Do you know what is a hopper? No. No. Hopper. You remember Pino know. Pinocchio? Hopper. I actually I use the application Hopper. <laughs> That's from from the United States. That's from. What was the name of this company? Oh my God, Dish Network, the Hopper. Hopper. Uh huh. To look fly for flies. Yeah, it's actually Grasshopper. The word that I was confusing. Grasshopper is something else. It's all one word, Grasshopper. But the word Hopper by itself means somebody who jumps. Hop is a synonym of jump. Jump, hop. Mm -hmm. You see? No, okay. So job, job, hopper. job hoppers, salta, salta trabajos. Mm -hmm. Grass mm -hmm. hopper, salta montes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Okay, so then, then you can have the same guy going to another interview on the same role play. You can do one role play with both topics. And then mm -hmm. the same guy goes to, to Susana and, hey, I'm here for the interview. But Sound interesting. Didn't you? Weren't you working somewhere else? <laughs> yes, but I got tired. You know, of, they don't support the environment. Do you support the environment? Mm -hmm. oh, another interview. Okay, mm -hmm. it's gonna be good. Okay, so you, I gave you the idea. Now you work developing it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Manuel. Uh, well... mm -hmm. Hello, ok, chicos, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Están trabajando? Translator for... Traduciendo para entender. Ok. Pero es lo que lo que no entendemos mucho es va, lo vamos a, a exponer o a leer o algo así o pero a, o actuarlo pero de qué forma no entendemos mucho. Vaya, por ejemplo la primera eh, es, es, es el egocentrismo. Self obsessed. Ajá. Self obsessed. So, mm -hmm. el role play puede ser que usted le dice a Juan Carlos, Oh my God, Juan Carlos, you are so fit. Do you go to the gym? Yes, Juan Carlos va a decir, yes. I, I, I have to be fit. I have to be healthy. That's very important to do your job very well. You know? Yeah. Because I'm the best okay. person. I'm the best person in the world. I do everything okay in my job. I'm the best employee in this company. I will be oh. your... Y, y hasta le puede decir Juan Carlos, I will be your boss, Wendy, one day. Y Wendy le puede decir, ah, okay, yes, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí, hombre, está bueno, ya. Ok, ya le di una idea. Ahora, el segundo tema. Millennials are price hungry. Oh my God, this is so simple. Ok, ahí ya pueden, pueden cambiar el rol y, y Juan Carlos es el jefe. Que, que yo bien bonito. Que no sé. Ajá, y puede Juan Carlos decirle, oh my God, Wendy, you, you, you don't know what you're doing. That's awful. What are you doing? You need to work better. And Wendy will go like, oh my God, this is so frustrating. Nobody appreciates my job. Nadie aprecia mi trabajo, que no sé qué. Okay. Y después puede, puede llegar Juan Carlos con una caja de chocolates. In reality, you are the best employee. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, this is my job, my dream job. I love my job. Okay. Right? Oh, my God. 
Ya les di los temas. Tienen, no sí. tienen 15 minutos, aún pueden prepararlo muy bien, ¿ok? Ok, ok, teacher. Bajo, vale. Entonces este es el 6 dice, los millennials están hambrientos de elogio. Este es otro estereotipo millennial que a menudo aparece. En... I, I, I am getting the, what, what are, what are they doing? And so uh, I can send, maybe I can like their, their photos and they are going to be happy with that. Okay, uh, just let's, uh, let's, uh, so Diana, tell us about what happens. Everything doing is because, going great uh, with the clients, Mario. Uh, I guess I'm. You are doing great with you because you are really comfy. Yes, yes. Maybe the clients bet, are right? really happy with the work we are doing. The only thing that it's going bad is they want to start meetings at eight o'clock, and I mean, I, I I explain to them that the best hour to start the meetings are at ten. But that's the time that the normal people come the day. Sorry. Eight is the time. Eight o'clock is the is the time of the normal people comes to work mm -hmm. in order to be a best productive or to have enough time to. Yes, to but do I the don't. Thing. I don't see the necessity of a start at eight when you can do the same thing at ten. But you don't I agree. That, agree uh, with that. But you don't think that uh, maybe sometimes you don't complete your task on time because you commence so late? No, I'm always uh, on time with all. I never send you any report after hours. I mean, I'm, I'm completed all my turn. Okay, I have to agree with you because uh, uh, for me, that's important that the, all the things have to be done on time and um, really good. Uh, but imagine if, if you commence your day two or three hours later, uh, if, if you have commenced two or three hours before, maybe you will, you will be, uh, I mean, I start my shift at eight. I, I, I joined to a meeting and, but then I go to sleep. And if I told you that, if I told you that, uh, we have to, or we can go to, uh, to the beach on the uh, on Saturday, but will be at the seven o'clock. You will go. No, it's too early. Okay. But but yes, we're working on that, and also I want to give you a suggestion. I don't know. Uh, so many clients want that we we'll go to site, but I think that we can do all the meetings uh, working from home. I don't see the necessity of going to site. Uh, only if uh, they request it, but not because you request it. If they request to to get the basic, you, you should do it there. Okay. But for my part, it's all. <laughs> okay, good, Carl. And, and you are playing still, or, or are you still playing with the phone? No, no, no. Anna, can can role play, for example. Oh, but but using the same the same the same meeting. The, 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 maybe the same meeting, but in this case, she is a job a uh, job 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 hoppers. Job, job, job hoppers. Yeah, like I I was reading. That the point is the the they don't uh, they they don't like uh, to be uh, for a long long time in the same company. Maybe the work is boring. The politics of the company doesn't match with with the. Uh, Las aspiraciones, I don't know. And, mm -hmm. and then may, maybe uh, say himself 
For example, well, I don't need worry because I don't I don't child, I don't family, right? I don't have a family. This is the the the, the was reading in the yes, the that, that is the main idea, but uh, how we can introduce that uh, that topic in the in the uh, in the same meeting yes los howdy like, okay, like the boss los how como joe coppers ajá is a similar a cazadores de talento algo así no no es, es de que andan they're... saltando de trabajo en trabajo que no se adaptan o no les gusta ah, pero okay. que no tienen responsabilidades Vaya, a younger. Por ejemplo, vaya, vaya, dice, aquí le voy a leer. Dice bien, dice, millennials are job hoppers. Dice. The accepted wisdom is that millennials change job frequently, fickle, and without any sense of employer loyalty. Mm. This generational cohort is quick to jump Cheap if a better offer comes along. O sea, si le llega una oferta mejor, usted no, es leal, no, no tiene lealtad a la empresa, entonces usted se va. Uh -huh. Far or fiction. Fact or, or fiction. Okay. Well, according to Sid Gallup, many other surveys. Eh, I don't know, what do you, uh, how do you say? Uh, What is the meaning? Survey. Tengo la idea, pero se me va rápido. Estudio. Ajá, como estudios o. o... Investigación. Sí, ajá. Dice, ah. dice que los millennials son. Dice, eh, millennials are three times more likely to change job in the first year. O sea, ellos cambian cada. Hasta tres trabajos en el mismo año. Dice. Ah. Cambian más que otras generaciones, dice. What what do you think if uh, after after you uh, Susana is the next supplier to the to the job, but uh, Susana uh, told me about about herself. I am looking. Okay. Uh -huh. you, you you can say it to Susana. You can talk to Susana. Uh, Susana. Uh, why you, why you, uh, why you, I don't know, renunciar, fire, parece. Why you, uh, fire. Why finish you fire, or why you fire in the previous job? Quit, quiet. Quit, quiet, quiet. Quiet, okay. Quiet, okay. Ah, but it's a, wait, wait, wait. I, are you asking her, did you quit your job? Did you quit? Or fire did, is did, you, did you get fire? I get fire. Get fire. 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 Fire the, the job or fire the work? It's the same thing. And <laughs> did you get fired on the previous job? Why? Why did you get fire? Fire the work. No. Uh, The hound, the previous job. I can say, tell me about you, about your experience. And and Susana explain about that. Uh, that I I am choosing. Uh, she was waiting for a, a new for a new offers, and they mm. and they a new offer, a new offer. Okay, a new offer, uh, uh, because he. He is not loyalty to any any company because the opportunities uh, comes in the uh, in el, en el tiempo menos pensado. I don't know. <laughs> I I I looking. Seria. I am I am looking mm -hmm. uh, a new For new work, opportunity. new job. Uh, but it's a I. Hay, hay ofrezcas. Se lo voy a decir en español. Dice Ajá. que eh, eh, son job hoppers porque no tienen lealtad, no son leales a la empresa y sobre todo no tienen responsabilidades familiares. No tienen hijos, Ajá. esposas. 
Entonces, una persona así, rápido se va de una empresa por, por 5 o 10 dólares más que le puedan pagar. Eh, es una persona que, que se va, que no se siente como parte de, de una empresa. Ahí puedo usted. Forever a pay, a pay much. Push mm -hmm. my salary. salary. A better pay. A better pay. pay. Pay much salary. Uh -huh. Or, or, y, ¿cómo es? Or, I don't, I don't, menos less, less responsibility. Oh, yes. For less responsibility. Yes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but but in, in this role plays, she she needs to to share about the the skills. And 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 I like a, a boss, I I asked to you about uh what do you what do, what you, do you do? do? What is what your, your skills? knowledge, skills and everything? Next, uh, you you tell me about yourself, and next maybe I can I can uh, I can read your curriculum, and and I I notice notice you you can stay quiet in a in the same job more than a month. Okay. Uh, I was the preference or prefer is a prefer in in my in my company or oh, bueno in oh, where company <laughs> I work uh, is a similar uh, the jo younger is a how how job how come on? Hopper, right? Job Hopper. Job Hopper. Hopper. Job Hoppers. Job okay. Hopper. It's a younger. But it's a, a oh, much responsibility. Um, I don't, uh, como se, we, sería. Si, we, we don't. Eh, no sería, But, they want, ellos, <laughs> they want, eh, no sería, they don't, eh, how, no le gusta depelarse. Yes, but in this case, you are looking for a job in, in my company. Uh, sorry. <laughs> It's a motorcycle. <laughs> mm, okay. I, I, I said that in, in this case, In this role play, you are looking for a job in my company. My company is a building company. Okay. Manuel was the, the first uh, applicant and you are the second one. So it's, it's kind of interview and you are looking for a job. Okay. Remember, you are a job hopper and I am more uh, socially responsible. Okay. You say at the conversation, I, my, 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 role play. Okay, Joe, hope, hope, I'm a Joe Hopper. Joe Hopper. Uh, okay. Okay, if you, if, If you want, we can uh, we can make a, an example. Uh, okay, start with with Manuel. Hello, Manuel. Yes. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay, Manuel. Tell me about your about yourself. Well, uh, uh, my name is Manuel Palma. Uh, I am 41 years old. Uh, I am a, a, for example, I am, a, oh, yo tengo que, yo tengo que inventar algo que vaya en contra de, de sus políticas de, de trabajo. ¿Qué puede ser? Inventar así algo que, 
Se llama es como... um, uh, Environmental uh, Environmental I'm for climate change. I'm for climate change. La preposición for se ocupa para decir que estás a favor de algo también. So I'm okay. for I'm for climate change. I'm for the I'm for the children. I'm for the poor. You know, the so poor. Okay. If if your company is for the poor, if you like to help others then you have an employee on me or whatever okay okay hmm? el primero me dijo i'm for climate for the climate climb climate clima climate change cambio climático ah climate climate change change climate 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 okay climate I am for climate change. Okay. Uh, well, Manuel, uh, do you know uh, my company is a building company? Do you know what we do in, in here? Uh, I don't know, uh, but I'm looking for a, a position when uh, when there, there is a respect for the nature and the environment uh, uh, is uh, helped. And uh, also, I, I would like to, to work in a, in a space, in a big space, uh, in a, in a in an office that there is a, a, a big window because I like to to gazing gazing uh, the landscape okay. and when there are re rivers or lake because I like the nature. I am teacher. How do you say conservador? Conservador de la naturaleza. Conservative, no. Mm, reserve, reserved. Reserve. I am reserved with nature. I I like to protect nature. Okay, I like to protect protect nature, and uh, for sure I like I like to see the rain through the the window. <laughs> but but you know in this company we. Oh. We had to cut the trees and sometimes cut. change the, the oh. way of the river. <laughs> Just, it oh my God. Uh, oh, I think this is not my point because it's uh, go to. This is not my place. Uh, sorry, did you... This is not my place. Yes, this is not my place uh, because you, you, your company produce a, 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 I think a many, damage. Many pollution <laughs> any pollution and I don't like it okay I'm not interested okay, in no, problem. no problem Manuel see you okay see you thank you for your time <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, uh, next, my secretary or my, my assistant <laughs> call for the next uh, the next ap applicant is Susana. Pass, okay. please, oh. pass, Susana. Go ahead, Susana. Come in, come on in, come on in. Come in. Come in. Solo voy a abrir la puerta. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was really Susana. No, no, si es cierto. 
Susana is a very actor. <laughs> Hello. Okay, Susana, tell me about yourself. Uh, okay, I I am prof professional and a very very study <laughs> study <laughs> in high school. Uh, I I like uh, and no, I don't like it. Uh, much no much in in working much much alone. A long time, a long year. Uh, I like uh, jump, jumping in work. Uh, I, I consider I, you, you, you don't have to. De entrar a batear. Because there are fires. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start with group number one and so on. We will move on until we get to group number three. Okay. Are we back? Yes, we are back. So, all yours. The stage is all yours. Please try to be very natural, you know, act, act. This is a, that's the point right now. You have to speak, act, and everybody else pay attention so you can see the stereotype of the millennials, okay? So, group number one, ready, whenever you are, one, two, three, action. What happened with the meeting? The boss hasn't connected already. Well, I'm going to wait. Mario. Yes, yes. Both, are we going to start the meeting? Carlos, sorry, I, I, I was taking a nap. The boss is, isn't here. Oh, really? I saw you in WhatsApp. Yeah, thank you for texting me. Uh, the meeting is not starting right now? Mm, I don't think so. The boss... Mm, sorry, we know. started. Ah. I just was waiting for you, ah, because I saw Carlos really. Oh, okay. I guess he was, uh, doing some important things in, in his phone, and I yes, guess yes, you was a little bit busy, I guess. 
Contact yes, yes. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm here now, so we can start if you like. Okay. Just Good. let me get comfortable, please. Okay, what are you doing on on this with with the uh, with your client, uh, Carlos? Um, well, uh, well, I have been uh, talking with them, and they are satisfied with our service. You know, um, everything is good, uh, Mario. Uh, okay, and what happened with the reports for today? You have already done, or got almost completed? Yes, uh, I think so. I, I'm going to send you uh, to to WhatsApp maybe uh, in 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 two in two hours. I haven't completed yet, but I'm gonna send you uh, uh, at noon maybe okay. because what about I you? am doing something important right now. Really. Uh... I guess it's something about your clients or, or anything yes, else. Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. I guess you are not uh, playing on your phone right now, right? No, no, no. Uh, I'm talking with my clients. Okay, can you uh, uh, tell them that maybe you can uh, text them after and you can left your cell phone on the table, please? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to to tell to to tell them right now. And what about you, Diana? I guess you are really comfy in your bed. You? Yes. Thank you. Uh well, with the clients, it's everything going great. Uh the only bad things as it's that, like you, <laughs> they want to start meetings at eight o'clock. But I explained to them that I think that the best hour to start, uh, it is to ten o'clock. Why you you think that is the best time? Because you know? at a I'm we are just starting. I mean that's the time you take breakfast and make a coffee. You don't think that uh commencing your day earlier, maybe you will be, uh, most productive. No, I am more productive at 10, 11 a.m. And I always do my work. I always send you everything at 5 p.m. I know that you see, you are doing your things on time, but I guess it's only have two recommendations that maybe if you commence your day a little bit early, maybe. At least at I don't eight think o'clock. that it's necessary. I don't know why we're still doing a shift of eight hours. I think we can make all our work in six hours. I mean, if you're productive, you're going to end everything. But I think for people that it is slow, we have to pay. Okay, but if I've requested all the reports at the 15 or the 3 o'clock, Maybe you will have it? Yes, I can do it. Okay, so I will wait for them uh, today at 3 o'clock. And also you, Carlos, please. Okay, uh, yes, perfect. yes, yes, yes. I guess you're really done, right? Uh, um, I think so. Okay, good. We... Sorry, but, and another thing I saw that tomorrow we have to go to site. I don't think that's necessary. We can do work from home. Yes, I agree. I agree with with her. Yes, we don't need to to go because we had the computer here in the house. Yes, and I mean yes, we I, have to I, move on traffic. I know I, that's I just need to both of you here at the office because I need to tell with something that we cannot speak clearly uh, through the Zoom, so it's better to talk about in front in the office. So we okay. have to to get the meet tomorrow at the 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock please, not okay. the 10 or the 11. 
Only okay. one day. Okay. So I know it's going to be Friday, all... but okay, it's going to be Friday. You have to wake up uh, early. I just I'm going to try. I just want to tell you something. We can end something. this meeting right now. I, I need to do some things, and it's almost break yes. time. I yes, I just want yes. to tell you something be, before to end the the meeting. Uh, okay. It is uh the is if every morning you have two choices, stay asleep with your dreams or wake up and go get them. So I prefer to, to sleep. Choices. Thank you. Okay. I need good. to Thank leave. You, boss. Bye. It's time to break. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Finish. <Thank you. laughs> oh my God. So I have to fire them. <laughs> you you should fire them. I mean, they don't want to work. So what happened with these people? What happened with these people? Diego, Juan, Wendy, Silvia, Susana. What what's wrong with these millennials? What was the problem? What's the stereotype? Millennials are lazy. <laughs> That's the first one, right? Millennials are lazy. <laughs> what happened with them? Why are they lazy on this role play? They are uh, obsessed with technology. That's the second one, yes. yes. But but on the example, on the role play that, that your classmates just did, why would you say that they are lazy? Because... Uh, they think, or oh, uh, it's a real also that. Uh, uh, I mean, they, hold on, hold on a moment. My question is, what were Diana and Carlos Alfredo doing that make you think that they are lazy? Uh, uh, the the technology changed the method of of work they are comodo uh, how do you say comodo in english comfortable comfortable uh-huh but oh. i i like that mario used a different word for com for comfortable comfy it's comfy right can you just type it on the chat mario that's a good word so diana was comfy she was on her bed with her Bad shit, you know. Oh, I want to sleep, right? My God, it's uh -huh. cold. I like to be controller. Teacher. It's harder to be controlled. That's right. And what was the second thing? The second point. Continue, Manuel. So technology obsessed. How did you identify that they are technology obsessed on the role play? Uh, yes, be because uh, they prefer uh, work through laptop or cell phone and to in, in in home rather than rather yes rather than uh, home and and to avoid the traffic to uh, uh, to get more time to for for rest to and rest they, to rest and then uh, they they need more time uh, for other activities uh, for other for, for other activities yes <laughs> totally okay so you got the point thank you very much diana uh, carlos alfredo and, and, and mario thank you very much thank that you. was a great example so now you have an idea let's go with group number two this is what i want to see great job Diego, Jorge, Manuel, and Susana. Whenever you're ready. Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, hi, Manuel. Welcome to Bella's company. Take a seat. Okay, thank you. How are you? Tell I'm me what you said. I am motivated. <laughs> okay, yes, go yeah. ahead. Okay, yes. Uh, because I think this company is... It's important and, and they have a, a, a qualif qualification 
uh, international qualification and I like to, to be part of the company. Do you know what we do in, in this company? Uh, I, yes, yes, uh, I, I, I know, but uh, uh, let me tell, uh, told you uh, about my, my position and about my, uh, I'm sorry, teacher, how do you say my principles or my ethics? My ethics, based okay. on my ethics, my principles. Yeah. Okay, my ethics and all my my principles. Uh, yes, I, I am be part of a, a part of groups, and we we are interested interested for the nature, and for for me is a is a huge importantly to conserve the nature. And, and about the, we are also interested in about the climate change. That's why I, I would like to, to work in, in, in a company that, that have, a, that they have a, a good process of manufacture in a sustainable company. Uh, interesting to know that. Uh, and also you you have uh, you know that we have to cut some trees and change the way of the the river sometimes to, to build a, a, some structure that that generate or that create changes in the nature no okay you, you... Uh, oh this is a, a big problem this is a big problem uh, and that's why uh, this is a, a point that I don't, I, I, I can, uh, I can get this, this position because this is, this is not, uh, this place is not for me. I agree with you because the company is the company and uh, <laughs> you, Probably uh, you don't work comfortable in this company. Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, I think with my experience, may I may I search uh, a better job in that my ethics uh, can success my goals. Thank you for your time. Okay, see you, Manuel. Uh, you. Please tell to my assistant. So to pass my next applicant. Okay, next, uh, Susana, come in, please. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Susana. Welcome to Bella's company. Take a okay. seat, please. Nice to meet you. And uh, I am professional uh, who like to be ordinary methodologies and uh, with good skill. I like to be upstairs. I have not commit uh, yet. I would like to be able to to work in the company to put my snowball into practice, uh, improve your process. I like to grow, uh, grow, grow in the company. I not stay long in the safe position. Do you do you are looking for or you are a, a, applying for the for an assistant administra or administrative assistant, no? Uh, do you? Maybe is it the moment is it a position, but is a I looking other opportunity in in the in the equal company or is in other company? I I read I read you your resume and I saw you can keep your job for more than one month. What happened with that? Uh, I I see some me, 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 major is the process. Uh, for is my experience uh, 
eh, Batisa, eh, is a maybe, maybe is a in the company, this major process. Um, I don't know, is a, is it other opportunity in, in this company? Uh, it's pretty interesting that you say that because I, I, I really concerned about this this kind of people who doesn't care uh, the the job and doesn't loyalty to the company. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, but it's, um, in the moment I don't a uh, responsibility, uh, but it's a. Uh, I look in is in other job. Is is in I don't know. <laughs> uh, so sorry, Susana. I can I can hear you. Okay. I I like uh, a jump in other company. <laughs> <laughs> That's our participation teacher. Awesome, awesome. Repeat hire. hire. I can hire. I can hire you. I can hire you. I'm sorry. I can hire I you. couldn't give you the position. I couldn't okay. give you the position. Okay, and we're only missing one group up before. Before that, everybody else. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Susie. That was good. So where were the two stereotypes? Where on the role play of your classmates did you notice the other two stereotypes? What were the stereotypes and where did you identify them? Uh, the first one, uh, the millennials are more socially responsible because Emmanuel uh, uh, has a, 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 when, when he realized that the company uh, is going to be something bad for the nature, he he didn't want to continue with the process because he he protect the the environment uh -huh. or something like that you got it you got it very good i was telling this group that when you are in favor of something you have to use the preposition for are you for fast or for alianza are you for what Barcelona or Real Madrid? Are you for nature? Are you for climate change? And so on. Good job. So, so yeah. So that was the number one where millennials actually care about, um, about, the about the, not just the environment, but the topic was to be um, caring about programs you know programs that will help society will help the world they want to impact remember hey did you finish watching simon sinek did you watch the whole video yes teacher it was amazing right so he talks about that how we want to impact to be remembered you know for doing something in the world okay and where did you identify the second i mean the number four topic in the fact that Susana changes a lot from work. Susana changes a lot uh, from work. Yeah, she she's a job hopper. Job hopper. If you know what is a grass hopper, then you understand the term job hopper. And hop is a synonym of jump. Yes. So she likes to jump from one job to another. Diana? Yes, uh, Jorge asked to to her. Uh, ask her. Why? Ask her why she changed so much from work. Why? Uh huh. And the question was, why do you change jobs so often? Why do you change jobs so often? Do you think that's true, guys? Do you think that we are? I mean, this uh, millennial generation is like, we don't like to stay in the same job. Yes. Yes, it is. My kids, my kids are 
I mean, they get amused because, or overwhelmed, I should say, they, they get overwhelmed when I take them, when I'm driving with them around their school because her mother, you know, my wife has worked at the same company for 22, 22 years. She has worked there for 22 years in administration. So at this point, she basically runs the, the company. She runs the company. But when they ask me, I, I like to tell them, I worked on that building and on that building and on that building too. And I worked there. <laughs> so they go like, how many jobs have you had, right? And it's true. I have I have had in my life like seven jobs seven jobs in 20 wait a minute 24 years kind of seven jobs is not bad right i don't see it as something bad but i i tend to last like three or four years on every job so that's a good thing i guess okay good job great job thank you very much let's go with the last group wendy <clears throat> and what was it juan juan mm -hmm. Juan Carlos, good. Juan Carlos and Wendy, whenever you're ready. Yes. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Juan Carlos. I see more things. What do you do? I'm working out at the gym every day. It's very important for my health. Oh, congratulations. It's very important. Um... I yes, have I a question. Tell me. Uh, what is your opinion for my work? Your work? Uh, your work is uh, very good for me. Hmm. In this company, don't value my work. Oh, no, no, Wendy. It's for everything in our company is very important, your job. Don't worry for that. Okay, thank you. Okay, congratulations, but just believe it. Thank you. That's it, teacher. It's a short film. <laughs> it's a short film. <laughs> okay, so everybody else, what do you think? Where do they represent uh, the millennials have a sense of entitlement. I like that word, but what do you think? Entitlement. Mm hmm. Where do they reflect on the conversation that they are having this sense of entitlement? What did Juan Jose said? Juan Carlos said, I'm sorry. What did Juan Carlos said about what he was doing in that moment? He was exercising. He was exercising. Uh-huh, Manuel. To the gym. In the gym, right? He was in the, at the gym uh, exercising. So do you think millennials are like that, entitled? They have a sense of entitlement. It, what do you understand about that? You know, it's like, what is it? You know, something that I... I am in shock sometimes is when I meet teenagers and I teach teenagers and many, many teenagers are studying one or three things at the same time. Rightly, rightly, you will find a teenager who works and study at the same time. And it's even more rare is even more weird to find a teenager who studies English and works. And, and I'm saying, you know, 
kids that live with their parents, you know, they just study English and they have a, a, a separate job because they have thought very well, you know, I first learned English while I work at Wendy's, McDonald's, whatever, right? I learn English and then I will pay my studies at the university with a better job, better income, better university. Now there's one thing. They don't want to get married. This generation doesn't want to know anything about getting married, having kids, having responsibilities. No, 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 no. I need a car. I need a house or an apartment. It's fine. In fact, right you now, the other space is like, in fact, many girls, most of all girls, are going like, hey, why don't we rent a house? Four of us, and we rent a house together, right? We work at the call, at the same call center, you know. Let's get together, the four of us, and we rent the house. I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. Why? I, I don't blame them. Because, well, you know, we, we, when you mm -hmm. come as uh, your uh, adult life to... They were out that there is a, a lot of responsibilities. Um, sometimes, or not sometimes, actually, we never uh, will be ready to to get them. We only have to to work day by day in order to uh, be the provider uh, so in order to yeah because uh, actually for me it's uh it's like i was father when i was 20 i became father i became father when i was 20 so uh the responsibilities came uh, sooner than expected yeah as a bunch of responsibilities so it was a really hard I that's why sometimes I, I don't I don't blame the the young people that say that they they want to be without kids and everything and because actually it's a it's a big responsibility to be a be a father to be a it's father a really, really, yeah true it is uh very heavy, very tired, and it's just the word, responsibility. You grow up, you grow up on this line of business. <laughs> parenting, parenting is not easy, it's, it's a huge responsibility. Even worse than having a, a company, you know, because you're raising three or, I mean, in my case it's three, right? Three kids, or, oh my God, it's more difficult. Okay. So the second topic that Wendy and Juan Carlos uh, discussed on this role play was millennials like, this is the last stereotype, millennials likes to, to be prized. Price hungry. They're priced hungry. They, they enjoy. Great job, Manuel. Good job. <laughs> it was good. Okay. What amazing, <laughs> amazing job! Terrific. Okay, so what do you think? Where did they reflect that? What happened when Wendy asked for feedback uh, of what the boss think about her, and when she said that she doesn't feel value at the company? Right. Nobody appreciates my job as a teacher. I feel not appreciated by my students sometimes. You know, and that's really sad. <laughs> Which is the opposite. Millennials, uh, we used to be very dramatic. We're drama kings or drama queens, I don't know. We're very dramatic, really. I mean, men used to be stronger, let's face it. We used to be stronger before, and that's because of the matriarchal, right? We were raised with feelings. 
like that. Even music from the 80s, it's all melancholic, you know, and romantic. And it's Elby's fault. It's Elby's fault. <laughs> if you haven't watched the movie, you don't understand what I'm saying, but it's Elby's fault. Or parents, or parents were listening to Elvis, listening to the Beatles, peace and love, peace and love all around. And let's raise our babies. Let's give them all the love in the world. So we were raised with peace and love. Parents trying to give us everything we needed. Now, the result is that we are fragile. We get depressed. We need dopamine. That's the word. We really need dopamine. You need coffee or you smoke or you drink. Not anymore. Now you have a cell phone. Now you have 250 friends on Facebook or, oh my God, Facebook. I'm sorry. Instagram. You have, how many followers do you have, Diana? I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I lost the count, teacher. Let me, <laughs> Let me check. What about you, Mario? How many followers do you have, Mario? What's it? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't keep the. the I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't have. I never have seen them actually. I I have lost the the count too. You know, I don't accept just anybody maybe <laughs> maybe two story. maybe two i guess two maybe my wife and my daughter oh come on really <laughs> man that's so sad <laughs> well that they're the ones that really matter wow okay he needs to get it on like that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's, that's so true <laughs> It happens to me, too. I have to call my brother. Hey, can you like what I just post? <laughs> I mean, please. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this session. Great job, everybody. Thank you. That was really amazing. And that's what I'm expecting from the following role plays, you know, that we do. Your participation is very important. No se les olvide, por favor. Uh, mañana es viernes. Adivinen que nos quedan siete días. A partir de mañana empieza la cuenta regresiva para terminar. Terminamos el 6 de marzo el módulo. Y eh, pues, ánimo, ánimo. Por lo menos estos siete días que faltan, no faltan a ninguna clase. Traten de participar y hacer su tarea. Tonight, I'm staying. Teacher, ¿hasta cuánto tendríamos que tener? Por lo menos hasta mañana. Necesito, thank you. Necesito que terminen la plataforma cuanto antes sea posible. Eh, En teoría se tiene hasta antes del finalizar, o sea, hasta el viernes sería. Let me see. Oh Mañana el, el my calendar is still in January. Hold on. Uh, uh, February sería marzo 3. El viernes 3 de marzo es la última fecha para tener la plataforma actualizada porque terminamos el 6 de marzo, el lunes. Ok. Ok. So I'm staying with Mario Ernesto Villeda, if possible. Mario Villeda, can you stay 10 minutes? Sure. Yes, it is possible. Thank you. Great. Okay. Good night. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Here. Good night. Good night. Cristian Nathalie Erazo Rogel. And today, Diana Elizabeth Cherguiño Martinez. Here. Good night. Good night. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Joven. Present, good night. Good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José B. Valle Castaneda, sorry. I'm here, good night. Good night, Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa, Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. She got disconnected, I guess. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zavaleto Ochoa. Present, teacher. Good, Good night. night and blessings. Blessings.
Hey, Mario, how are you tonight? Me parece que es la primera sesión en la que estamos, ¿verdad? Nunca habíamos tenido la oportunidad de que se quedara, right? Hoy sí. I was, I was in, in my turn. I lost the class. Oh. Yeah, you were not present when you had the chance. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, during these sessions, uh, the first thing that I do is ask general questions. What has been your experience with English? You know, like, without mentioning academy's names, but how long have you studied English? And number one, number two, what have you feel that is your main area of improvement? I mean, is it speaking, reading, understanding, listening? That's two. Mm -hmm. And the last question, what are you doing? Other than taking these two hours of class, are you doing something else to improve? Okay. Okay. In my case, um, an obstinate pace, I guess, because I was studying in, in different opportunities in my life in different ways. Uh, for example, uh, no problem. I can I can see I can I can tell you. I studied twenty levels in university. Some some years ago. There was a, a obligation to gra to gra to graduate in the university. Was a requirement. After, was a requirement to graduate. After that, um, when it was the 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 big moment for for open English, mm -hmm. I I studied open English a year, but but. But for I have problems with the, my internet connection mm -hmm. was horrible, terrible, mm -hmm. horrible. When I I uh, I at point you can I I can speak like I, I I speak with you because cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. So uh, only listen. Oh oh yeah yeah yeah. So it's lagging. Was lagging all the time. Also, okay. Also, mm -hmm. okay. I didn't like that much the platform too. Because the they work, for example, uh, in a meeting with 10 people. So everybody in, in the group almost lost 20 minutes in presentations. Hi, I, I'm Catherine from Colombia. Decide to tell me uh, the 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 food. Tell me something about culture. Okay. Hi, I'm Arnold from Mexico. Hi, I'm, I'm Sebastian from Chile, from Chile, from Chile, from Chile. So every day, uh, same the the same, have the same routine. Mm -hmm. No, come on. Come that was too much. Yeah. How many hours a day did you use to study? In that case, in that moment, I started two hours. Two hours, two two hours every day? Two hours, two hours in conversation. In yes, a, conversation. conversation sessions mm -hmm. on the platform. Mm -hmm. So after that, I started in Academy Europea, mm -hmm. but the, the cost very high. The cost was very high. Okay, and now among all these years, what is your problem? I mean, why do you think that you're not moving on? I don't have, uh, well, I identified it two problems. Mm -hmm. The first one, um, I don't have a uh, earring. 
Listening. Listen, hearing for for English. I try to in my in my job when I move to, to my job, I put put some 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 songs to okay, let me see how 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 can I understand about that song. See you. I I took uh uh listening in English on YouTube mm -hmm. because I have to move around one hour, two hours to my, my work. So I can I can I can I can listen. And nah, nothing, nothing. After and my best uh Capacity, no, no. my best capacity, mm -hmm. capacity. If I, if, if, if I read, it's reading. So you like reading? Yeah, I can see. For example, right now I try to see all the series or the movies in English mm -hmm. and subtitles in English with English subtitles. That's good. And that way you understand more. Okay. Is that what you're doing? You're watching yeah, movies? I, okay. I, I have to move, see, see a movie two or three times after that. Ah, <laughs> so, uh, okay. Okay. But uh, I, I I guess I listen. Uh, I understand that. Really, I understand. Well, speaking is easy. Hablar, hablar inglés es lo más fácil en términos de, de, de hacerlo mentalmente, digámoslo. Eh, ver una película con, en inglés con subtítulos en inglés está súper bien porque es lo que los niños hacen, de hecho. Un niño tiene que ver hasta tres, cuatro veces la misma película para entender de qué se trata. Y así le va a pasar en cualquier idioma. Yo tengo amigos que ven películas coreanas o series coreanas y es como, o japonesas, ¿no? Uh -huh. Y, y solo con ver la animación y todo lo que está ocurriendo, dicen ellos, entienden. Yo no, no lo logro, pero... <ríe> Entonces, ahora, si sí, lo que le gusta o entiende o siente que le, le ayuda bastante es la lectura, esta página tiene 250 audios con la, el script... O sea, lo que dice el audio, ahí está el script. Entonces, sin discriminar, puede elegir cualquiera de esas conversaciones entre dos personas, reescribirla en su cuaderno, imprimirla como sea, y andarla escuchando. Durante los primeros dos días, solo escuchar y leer, escuchar y leer, sin abrir la boca, solo escuchar y leer. Los siguientes dos días de la semana, el mismo audio, ¿eh? la misma lectura ya puedo empezar a repetir, repetir, repetir. Quinto, sexto día, empiezo a, a intentar grabarme, a sonar como suenan en la conversación. Y el séptimo día yo reviso mi trabajo. Entonces, le doy play a la grabación que tengo en esa página y al celular, lo que yo he grabado. Ya cuando diga, ahí está, me quedo chivo, quiero ver. Uno, dos, tres, ¡puc! Y ahí a la par el cuadro, ¿no? Uy, dije, esa palabra no me salió bien. Ey, esa le dije súper bien. Sobre dos palabras, y dije mal, estoy bien, estoy bien. Entonces, ¿qué es esto? Es un proceso bien lógico. El cerebro tiene que adaptarse al sonido de cómo se dicen las cosas los primeros dos días sin escucharse a sí mismo, solo ver cómo se pronuncian ahora las letras que conoce desde pequeño. Tiene sentido. Los siguientes dos días ya puedo articular lo que he escuchado repetidamente durante dos días. Ok. Ya los siguientes dos días empezar a intentar grabarme y el último día ya criticarme, y eso es lo más importante lo más importante usted no necesita un gran profesor a la par suya todos los días gastar dinero, no eh, tal vez alguien como yo alguien que, que no esté todo el tiempo ahí sino que usted le diga de vez en cuando hey, escucha este audio, cómo me quedó y me envíe el feedback, chivo, aquí está tranquilo yo pienso, e incluso usted puede participar y decirle, mire, yo pienso que esto sí, esto fallé, verdad verdad que esto dije mal y ahí va, o sea, el punto es que en la medida en la que alcance la autocorrección, ya está hecho. Eso logré yo entender cuando estaba pequeño y aprendí yo solo. Ahora, ni en ningún momento dije traduzca. Eso es lo último. Ah, no. Eso es no, lo último. Traducción, 
Eh, o sea, yo tengo un, 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 un amigo americano que me dice, mira, aquí el peor, el peor error que tenés que hacer es traducirlo como lo haces en, en, en español. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, puede decir, la casa es bonita y verde. Una empieza, casa, oh, green, verde, la, y, y así empieza. No, me dice, no, pero allá solo decimos, the house is green, ya es tú, ya. The house is y green. Yo, ya es tú, güey, yo, yo, de al buscar parte del, del, del significado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pues eso, exactamente, igual. Siga viendo películas con subtítulos en inglés, súper bien. Súper bien. A ver, ¿y quiénes le funciona lo inverso? Ver la película en español y poner los subtítulos en inglés. Me, me distraigo. <ríe> sí, se distrae también uno. Es más fácil hacerlo. Súper bien. Ok, Mario. Estoy a la orden. Cualquier cosa me escribe pues si necesita ayuda en algo, ¿ok? La, la página la estaba buscando en el chat, pero no sé si... ¿La no página de aprendizaje? Ajá, la que me recomendó para... Está... Ah, ah, no, 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 acá la envié en el chat de Zoom. A ver... Pero ahorita le envío de nuevo al WhatsApp. No hay problema. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Ahí está. Ese es el índice, es el um, índice de contenidos no discrimine, puede darle clic a cualquier conversación y agarrar esa, la que le guste sin discriminarla y okay. ahí empieza a practicar ¿ok? si gusta okay. ver los pasos, pues revise el video mañana de cómo le he explicado cómo hacer eso ¿no? es bien fácil uh -huh. okay, okay. good night Mario Perfect. take care good night. Sí. Thank you.